4.46 p.m., Sale told reporters, including Pete Abraham of the Boston Globe, that he believes he'll miss four to six weeks, but he will pitch again in 2022. A more specific timeline could be known once Sale visits a specialist, either later today or tomorrow. 2.20 p.m., the Red Sox announced to reporters, including Chris Cotillo of Mass Life, that Sale's pinky finger is broken. Left fifth finger fracture is the official diagnosis. There's still no word on his expected absence. 1.45 p.m., Red Sox starter Chris Sale departed today's game after recording just two outs, as an Aaron Hicks comebacker hit his hand and appeared to injure it. While the extent of the injury won't be known until testing is done, the television broadcast showed obvious damage to the hand, with Sale immediately leaving the field without hesitation. Twitter video leaked from starting 9. Making this extra frustrating for the Red Sox, this was just Sale's second start of the year. He missed the first few months of the season due to a stress fracture in his rib cage. After months of rehab and getting himself back into game shape, he's now had the incredible bad luck to be struck on his pitching hand and suffering yet another injury. The lefty also underwent Tommy John surgery in 2020, missing all of that season and most of the 2021 campaign. All told, he's thrown less than 50 innings since the end of the 2019 campaign. The timing of the injury is troublesome for the Red Sox, who have dealt with a number of rotation woes recently. Nathan Eovaldi just returned after missing over a month, but Rich Hill, Michael Watson, Connor Seabold and Josh Winskowski have all landed on the eel in the past few weeks. The All-Star break begins tomorrow, giving the club a few days to figure things out. But if Sale has to miss time, they will be down to a rotation of Eovaldi, Nick Pivetta, and Cutter Crawford. After the break, the Red Sox are playing 17 straight days, meaning they will certainly need reinforcements. Hill and Wacha are making progress but won't be ready after the break, reports Pete Abraham of the Boston Globe. 